In the beginning, there was only Namu, a vast and formless abyss where silence reigned supreme. Its depths churned with primordial chaos, a swirling soup of potential from which existence itself would one day be born. Ian stretched on, measured not by the ticking of clocks but by the imperceptible dance of nascent energy. Then, from the cosmic ocean, a tremor ran through the void. It was the first spark of consciousness, a ripple in the fabric of non-being that would become the seed of creation. From this nascent spark, the Anunnaki emerged, a pantheon of divine beings unlike any other. These were the architects of creation, each one an embodiment of a fundamental aspect of the universe. Their forms, though unseen by mortal eyes, were said to be awe-inspiring, radiating with power and purpose. Anu, the Sky Father, claimed dominion over the boundless expanse above. His gaze encompassed the celestial tapestry, a shimmering canvas woven with countless stars, planets, and celestial phenomena that held the mysteries of the cosmos. He was the embodiment of ultimate power, his pronouncements echoing through the void as universal law. But unlike a detached ruler, Anu actively participated in the affairs of the Anunnaki. His wisdom served as a guiding light in their celestial gatherings, his pronouncements settling even the fiercest of disputes. Below Anu's celestial domain lay the realm of Ki, the Earth Mother. Hers was the fertile womb from which life would eventually spring forth. Her embrace nurtured all living things, providing the bounty that sustained the world. Her touch gave rise to mountains that scraped the heavens, vast plains teeming with life, and shimmering rivers that snaked across the land. Together, Anu and Ki represented the harmonious union of the heavens and the earth, their divine offspring forming a pantheon ready to govern creation. Among these divine children was Enlil, the lord of the wind. His breath could both bestow life-giving breezes and unleash devastating storms. He was the embodiment of the very air itself, the invisible force that carried whispers of creation and roared with the fury of a tempest. As the son of Anu and Ki, he served as the critical link between the celestial and terrestrial realms, and trusted to him was the Tablet of Destinies, an artifact upon which the fate of all creation was etched. Enlil was a multifaceted deity, a ruler who could command storms with a flick of his wrist, a protector of divine order, and a god whose fury could be as awe-inspiring as his benevolence. Standing in contrast to Enlil's tempestuous nature was Enki, also known as E, born from Anu's union with Antu, the starry goddess. Enki embodied the life-giving waters that nourished the land. While Enlil commanded the chaotic storms, Enki reigned supreme over the gentle flow of rivers and streams, the very essence of life itself. He was the patron of humankind, the one who bestowed upon them the gift of knowledge and the spark of civilization that allowed them to flourish. Under the watchful gaze of the Anunnaki, the Sumerians, who thrived in the fertile crescent between the Euphrates and Tigris rivers, believed that humans weren't simply left to chance. Legend spoke of a time when the lesser Anunnaki gods, weary from their endless toil of maintaining the world, rebelled against their ordained duties. It was then that Enki, ever the innovator and protector, proposed a solution, the creation of humanity, crafted from the earth itself, imbued with the divine essence of a sacrificed god. Humans were envisioned to serve a specific purpose to maintain the cosmic order, toiling on the earth and alleviating the burden of the gods. Thus began the grand symphony of creation. The Anunnaki, each with their own domain and influence, shaped the world as we know it. Anu's celestial pronouncements dictated the movement of the stars and planets. Ki's nurturing touch brought forth diverse life forms, and Enlil's winds sculpted the land masses. Enki, Meanwhile, took a special interest in humanity, guiding their first steps toward civilization. He taught them agriculture, irrigation, and the use of tools, fostering a society that could exist in harmony with the natural world. But the celestial realm was not a haven of unending harmony. The relationship between Enlil and Enki, though crucial to the balance of the universe, was often fraught with tension. Enlil, the unwavering guardian of order, 
found himself at odds with Enki's more playful and subversive tendencies. Their disagreements manifested as cataclysmic events that shook the very foundations of the world. Fearsome storms ravaged the land, floods wiped away civilizations, and earthquakes reshaped the landscape Old Testaments to the immense power and conflicting ideologies of the Anunnaki gods. One such tale tells of Dilmen, a paradise crafted by Enki's ingenuity, a land untouched by disease or death. It was a verdant haven where humanity could bask in eternal youth and boundless joy. However, Enlil, consumed by a jealous rage, unleashed a devastating flood upon Dilmen, transforming its idyllic beauty into a desolate wasteland. This act served as a chilling reminder of the gods unchecked power and the fragility of even the most sacred places. Perhaps the most enduring myth of the Anunnaki is the story of the Great Flood. Enraged by the burgeoning population of humans and their perceived arrogance, Enlil resolved to cleanse the earth with a deluge of unimaginable proportions. But Enki, ever compassionate and devoted to the protection of humanity, could not stand idly by. He defied the established order, whispering a warning to his loyal servant, King Ziusudra. Heeding Enki's instructions, Ziusudra constructed a mighty ark, a vessel capable of weathering the coming storm, and safeguarding the future of humanity and the animal kingdom. The skies wept for days and nights on end, the relentless downpour threatening to drown all life beneath a churning sea. Yet, the Ark, guided by the watchful eye of Enki, bobbed safely amidst the raging waters. When the storm finally subsided and the flood waters receded, Ziusudra emerged from the Ark to find a world forever changed. The land, once fertile and teeming with life, lay scarred and barren, but humanity, thanks to Enki's intervention, had survived. This near destruction served as a turning point. In the relationship between the Anunnaki and humankind, the gods retreated further from the affairs of mortals, leaving humanity to forge their own destiny. Though the Anunnaki remained a powerful presence, in the Sumerian worldview, their influence became more subtle. They were no longer seen as directly controlling every aspect of life, but rather as distant forces whose actions reverberated through the ages. The Sumerian myths of the Anunnaki are not simply stories of creation and destruction. They delve into profound themes of order and chaos, the balance between nature and civilization and the complex relationship between gods and humanity. These narratives, passed down through generations in whispers and elaborate clay tablets, have left an indelible mark on human history. They continue to resonate with us today, offering a window into the ancient world's view of the cosmos and a timeless reflection on the human condition.